Scorpio, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Scorpio, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Scorpio, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on. And you know what? The card that's flipped over right here, very interesting. Look at that. You got the seven of swords. So right now your angels are telling you that this is a time to be strategic with your energy. This is a time to come up with a game plan. Well, do you have a game plan? For example, like what is your one year, three year, five year, 10 year game plan? And why is it important? So say for example, say if you're going to a job and say at that job, it may not be your dream job. So when you're waking up in the morning, you're like, oh man, I gotta go to work. I don't wanna be here. Immediately lowers your vibration. Now imagine if you had a game plan and now your one year game plan is like, I will come to this job for the next year and learn. I will network, I will collaborate, I will see how this work environment works, and I will start my own job once I collect enough data. I will start my own business, for example. But when you have that, you know, uh, game plan, your perspective changes, and you're not waking up in the morning saying, oh, I hate my job, but instead, I'm gonna go collect data, and it totally changes your energy, and when you change your energy, you change your life. Now look at this, talk about energy, wow. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the Magician, just beautiful energy, Two of Cups, so much abundance here for you. The higher fan, King of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Fool. This is crazy. This is very, very good. Now, here's the resistance. You got the Nine of Wands and the Five of Wands. So I see here that there's a little bit of extra pressure you're putting on yourself, which is causing resistance, and I'll show you how to clear that energy. Now, Scorpio, your affirmation for today is, I am rich and abundant. Yes, you are. Write this down in the comment section. I am rich and abundant quantum entangle with this energy, invite the energy of money, welcome the energy of wealth, I am rich and abundant, let the universe know you command, assume, expect this energy, I am rich and abundant, write this down in the comment section. Now talk about riches, <laughs> definitely, like it's just like, oh my goodness, so much abundance, which is your birthright, but also a choice is here for you. Your angels and guys just telling you right now, Whatever it is that you focused on, as far as your career, your business, your, your, your schooling, whatever it is, it is going to pay off very, very soon here. And it's going to pay off in a way that it's almost better than you expected. So for example, maybe you wanted a promotion, you're getting the promotion with a bonus on top, right? Imagine like you wanted to, you know, graduate, you know, from your bachelor's degree, there's going to be a job waiting for you. But I do see here that you're going to be handsomely rewarded for all the progress and effort that you put into to, to your business or career and this is a very exciting energy and right now your angels and guides are telling you to expect it command it assume it right don't wait for it don't be waiting for it in the third dimension that is lack and lack does not create a thought of abundance lack is saying you don't have something and of course it's realistic and analytical and practical but where does that get anyone right it's just you got to use more of a mystical spiritual quantum energy and that's how, that's exactly how you tap into the fourth dimension rather than third dimension. So I'll give you an example. Right now, imagine you've been waiting for a promotion at work. And right now, every single time that you, you know, go to work, you're almost like, oh, why have I not got this promotion? And you're waiting, waiting, waiting. Now, understand that the third dimension takes its orders from the fourth dimension, right? So all you have to do is cut out the middleman, the third dimension, where time exists, which takes forever, go right to the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is the mystical, spiritual, and quantum. When you tap into your powers that you possess, that everyone on earth has, you just gotta know how to activate them, then everything becomes effortless rather than efforted and you're no longer waiting. And I'll give an example right now. What I would do is rather than wait in the third dimension for my boss to give me a promotion, I would let it be known in the fourth dimension that I already got the promotion. For example, one trick that I love to use is the amnesia, uh, amnesia effect, right? I always treat the universe as, it as if it has amnesia and I like to remind it. For example, universe, don't you remember? I got that promotion. Don't you remember? I got that promotion and that bonus and I got that corner office. Thank you, bye. Now, what did I do here? I didn't say universe, please give it to me, please. Like lack, right? Instead I said, hey, don't you remember? I already have this. 
Then the universe is like, oh, law of attraction, like attracts like, law of attraction. If you have it, you must have it. Therefore, I'm in the allowing stage and I get gifted it. That's the energy that I feel from you. Your angels are t and guides are telling you to stop putting so much pressure on yourself. Let go of this energy. This energy is the reason that it's causing resistance. And that resistance is actually something that can be met by coming up with a strategic game plan of what it is that you're looking to do. And right now, using this amnesia trick, it works like a charm. I use it for everything. Universe, don't you remember? I am supposed to be with my soulmate. Don't you remember? I'm supposed to, you know, be, have those six pack abs, whatever it is you're looking for. And it comes to fruition. Now look at this. Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, this is unbelievable. Right now, your angels are telling you that you are so close to attracting someone that is on the same vibrational energy as yourself, same feeling as yourself. Someone who doesn't have a bad bone in their body, someone who treats you with the love and the respect you truly deserve, and someone who also sees your value, and that's at the end of the day. Everyone wants to feel wanted. Everyone wants to feel valued. Everyone wants to feel as if they are, you know, bringing a service to, 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 to someone else. Everyone wants to be with someone else to experience life and have experiences. And right now, to live a rich and fulfilled life is to really go through experiences. You and this person, whoever this is that I feel like is entering your life rather soon here because you got the Knight of Wands. This is someone that really is not only romantic, but someone who likes to get you out of your comfort zone in a good way, right? So for example, like when I met my wife, Alicia, you know, one thing that I helped her with was starting businesses. You know, she already had her own business, but I taught her, you know, don't take no for an answer. Don't worry about, you know, what can go wrong. Focus on what can go right. Be fearless, be bold. And what does she teach me? About spirituality, law of attractions, 14 years ago, I had no idea, but we complimented each other, right? And then now, you know, you should see her. Oh my goodness, like <laughs> she's just, she's a tiger when it comes to business. So many different Amazon brands. And now, look at me now, right? I got my, my, my spirituality going. You know, every day I meditate, journal, manifest. Check out Dr. Joe. Check out Billy Carson. Really learn how to play this third dimensional game using that fourth dimensional, you know, knowledge. And right now, that's the same energy I feel between you and this person. And when you are learning, creating, and, and really growing with each other, that's when your relationship is it's really next level. Like it truly is not only just a romantic relationship, but it's like a best friend as well. And that's the energy that spirit is bringing into your life. All right. Now, Scorpio, I'm going to pull your spirit animal. Oh, look at this. One of my favorites, Canary Spirit. And look at what the message is. Sing your own song. And this is what your angels are telling you right now. Become the cause and effect. Don't wait for the cause and effect, right? Use your personality to create your personal, personal reality. And you do this by instilling excellent habits. So the same trick that we use with, you know, letting the universe know, like universe, don't you remember, for example, that I'm already got that promotion? That is becoming the cause and effect. That is taking action. And right now you can become the cause and effect in many, many different ways. Like one thing that I love doing is being undeniable. Be so undeniable when it comes to getting that promotion that your boss has to promote you. Be so undeniable that people have to date you. Be so undeniable that you have to, you know, get invited to functions and events and things like that because you're so magnetic. How do you become undeniable by really focusing inwards and doing things that honor your soul, right? Like I know for me, learning stuff honors my soul. I know for me, you know, eating foods that make me, you know, feel like I have energy honor my soul. Doing these things will definitely get you there. All right, Scorpio, now I will pull a final message from your spirit guides. Wow, look at this one and look what it's about. Be in service. What a beautiful, beautiful message. And right now, you know, the greatest queens, the greatest kings in the world, they all serve their people because they know that is truly the way into the heavens. Now, give back to the, now the message is, give back to the world. When we give an equal proportion to which we receive, we are able to maintain balance. There are so many people who are in need of your services. Being in service can be as simple as a kind word, holding a door open for someone, or joining a cleanup effort. And that's what it really comes down to. When you lend your ear to someone, when you give your experience, when you help someone in any way, shape, or form, even with a compliment, I'll give you an example. You go to work, your coworker is wearing a beautiful dress. You go up to her and you go, you 
you are shining. This is your color. It is beautiful. You know, you deserve to be in a piece of art in a museum that makes you look so good. When you give them that compliment, it is going to change their day. The butterfly effect. It's going to change someone else's day, someone else's day. And now, like a, like a boomerang of love, that energy will come back. Like attracts like law of attraction. So being in service, it doesn't necessarily mean like lending people money if you want to do so fantastic, but understand that you could be in service in many, many different ways. And now by doing so, you're going to be getting it back tenfold. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.